Hello guys, welcome back to, well, Unification Wars, playing as the Imperium of Man. Let's continue. And, uh, yeah, we are just chilling, really. Um, can I build? No. Oh, why not? Can I train new special template divisions? Oh, they're special. I see. Oh, now there's music. I actually forgot to find a, a, a what do you call it playlist to play, but I guess there's music, anyways. Hmm. Right, uh, we are still just chilling a bit here in our Himalayan lab. Um, we devoured the Eagle people and the Dragon Kingdom the last episode. And now we are having this Sigilite, an old man, who's very special, apparently, has come forth. Excavation. Yeah. We'll see. I don't think we have any. We could justify, but I think we get a bunch of. Uh oh, did the music go away? Oh, maybe it was just the intro music. Mm. Oh well, I have to remember to find a. Ooh, a hive city. Oh. Ah. Huh. Okay. Nice. No, oh, there is music. <laughs> if you can call it music. Yeah, just join here. The Ziggy Light. Damn. The old man arrived just before dawn. I had been attending a meeting with Valdo and the newest custodes on the matter of the Legion's organization when I felt something. Something I have not felt for many, many an age. A presence has, had entered the palace, one stronger physically than any here save for I. I left without a word and arrived at the Eternity Gate still under construction. Though his presence was strong, I sensed no malevolence or corruption that would have come from an agent of the Ruiner's powers, or even the powers themselves. There stood a man in simple robes, seemingly his only physical possession. He was withered and frail, and wrinkled from many years of life, and for half a moment I dismissed him as another mortal beggar. Then he spoke to me in words not for human ears, but rather for the mind. They were words of greetings and humility, words I have not heard for many years until up until now. He asked to enter the palace as a guest, and allowed him to proceed. Our silent conversations soon stretched through the hours and I learned much of this figure. His, his name was Mal Malkador, and he was one of the last of the Sigilites, an order I had known all too well. From the very first mo moment of our meeting, a mutual understanding of each other's true nature had been established. He knew that I was much older than I seemed, and he knew he was even older than he looked. But above all, our sheer psychic power was beyond anyone on Terra, and perhaps beyond any throughout the galaxy. And though he was secretive and rather cryptic, I knew his plans and intentions for humanity were far nobler than any others on Terra. Then he spoke the first physical words I've heard from him. I wish to serve at your side, my lord, and I know you will not refuse me, he said with a grin. Clever old bugger. Hmm. Alright. Domination? Hmm. Oh, an ultimatum. Let's be gentle. The simple-minded route directly to conquest has never brought Terra any closer to a perpetual peace. Indeed, it is that pass path which has divided and tortured its people for untold generations. And thus, I offer these lands the choice to join me of their own volition and free will, and to spare the peoples from the horrors of war. But should they refuse, there will be blood. Right. Speed far again, because we're not really doing much right now. Very little manpower. We do have these space marines and custodies. Very good, very good. Oh, we can do something. Enforce your rule. Weak stability? Yeah. Enforce all the things. Relate the tribes. Mm. Prospecting. Oh, now the music went away. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, some more research. Uh, let's see, we are in, what, 90? That's 91. Uh, oh, the radio. That would No, wait. Mechanical computing. Well, we have two slots here, so let's get both. We'll probably be very... Look. Oh, that was fast. Uh, they accepted, rejected, accepted, accepted, reject... Oh. Oh. I only thought I got a... 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, what's this? Techno barbarians. Uh, no, do Ra Endymion. Go here. He shall be remembered in the book of honor. Yes. Honors. Give me a book of honor. Uh, offensive line. The very air mm. is thick with corruption. Yes, nasty. Okay, try. Eyes open. One moment of laxity may condemn us. That's all. a techno barbarian. Uh, that's one of our dudes. Engage the enemy. Oh, uh, down here, I guess. Eyes open. One moment of laxity may condemn us all. Maybe we can just go for these uh, points here. Orders. The victory points. Perhaps we'll see. Uh, right. Ah. <laughs> okay, I was not really ready for this. I thought, yeah, we would gain a a yeah walk. What do you call it? Walk goal. Oh, go up here. Oh, right. So we need to finish that before we can continue. Right. Uh, the Exertus Imperialis. The Imperialis militia. We are to raise 100 regiments to support our efforts of uni unifying terror. They shall be taken from newly conquered lands and areas that are pledged fealty, but not yet been assimilated. Their task is to bulwark our main forces and to combat dissent and anarchy in lands that have not yet fully adopted to the Imperial ideal. The Emperor has stated that he has foreseen great deeds and triumphs by these human irregulars, and who are we to doubt his vision? Sure, while well, we try to figure out how to remedy this. Stay at the ready. See how the sky has turned to sinking color. Now go here. Vigilance, brothers. Always vigilance. Uh, here. Move. I think. <laughs> They will not escape our holy fire. Sounds good. Oh, it's so odd playing without music. The very air is thick with corruption. Okay, yoink. Stay at uh, yeah, hit down there. Oh no! Forward to victory! Blood in Kutan. In the valleys of Kutan, two newly born Thunder Warriors make a brutal stand against the Kutani. Is that good? Hmm. Kutan. City of Kutan. Answer the enemy's quiet with vigilance, brother. Stay at the ready. Hmm. Still fighting up here. My thunder warriors. Eh, just... Screw that. Go over here. Yes. Go there. Up here. Ready. Take that. And go here. And then hit up here. Still trying to take that, alright. You are moving around. Oh damn, they actually bought our capital. <laughs> Kill. I go up here. Come on, my custodies. You can do it. Yes. Split. The great news, everyone. I wanted to get cores on this. No, occupied. 
go here. Sweet. Regimental command. So, what's the difference here? Exterminatus, that sounds really cool. Just because of that, I think I'll go over there. I guess this is more like resources. This is like uh, infrastructure and factories. I will do over here terawatt technology. The terawatt clan has much, mo has much a more advanced technology compared to any other state on Terra. If we approach them with knowledge of ancient Dark Age technology, they can provide us with improved technologies. The terawatt. Are they a thing close by? Terawatt, terawatt, terawatt. Hmm. I can't really tell. Ursh. Hmm. Oh, they're up here. Hmm. I see. Come on. Sweet. Uh, go here. Offensive line. <laughs> Let's try and take the capital. Imperium has been growing slightly. Forward brothers. Mm. Ivory King. Ugh, the pale woman. What's this? Seize guns. Eh, mm, wait a bit with that, I think. Oh, wait, what? You left the capital. Not sure that is smart. Take all states. Take all states. Take all states. Take all states. Whee! Uh, okay, you just join here for now. Go there. Terror. Okay, speed five again. All right, we've grown a bit. But I don't think this is... Nah, it's just occupied. Hmm. I wonder if I can core it. Maybe. Maybe not. Morand Polska. Oh, oh, oh. The Terrawatt clan accepts. The wise Terrawatt clan has have chosen the right decision and have imparted their knowledge of new technologies onto us in exchange for their learning of archaic technologies as well. Our armies... or oh, our army will utilize this new technology well. Ooh. Sweet. Right. Tribes of the Himalayas. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's if I want the... Uh, I guess. Legio Custodes or Thunder Warriors? Mm, well, I guess get both, I guess. Kingdom of the Himalayas. The valley kingdoms of these mountains lands are many and older than entire living civilizations having been relatively unharmed by the tragedies of our age. These kingdoms are one of the last bastions of ancient nobility and culture, and they will serve as a bedrock of my future empire. Yes. Get it done. Palace. Okay. Uh, we're still in... 790. Refinery. Hmm. Let's get anti-tank guns. Vanquisher cannon. Otto Kent. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Did I click here? I guess not. I guess not. Trained. Regular. Hmm, nice. Yeah, I can't get this one. Alright, let's get the Thunder Warriors as well. The tribes lurking in the mountains are a strange folk with stranger customs, isolated from the wider world. 
although likely for their own good. For their oddities, they are strong and hardened people, diligent and honorable. They will serve well as my backbone, or as the backbone of my future empire. Keep it here. Quick, quick, quick. We have a Terra to unite. Pan Pacific. <laughs> Bit confusing with these, like, uh, lack of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, lack of C. But uh, that's okay, it's law wise good, I guess. My mouse is still acting up. We never got this tank. You know what? Let's get this tank. Mm, nah. A Tauros, perhaps? Yeah, sure. So, regiment command, gene soldiers, reinforcements rate, <laughs> okay. Special forces, power drop. Astartes, Mark II armor, Purge all Thunder Warriors, damn. Okay, so there's nothing regarding, at least it's down here, like uh, what type of uh, doctrine I should take. Hmm. Not that I can see, at least. Do we gain, like, free CBs on the entire world at some point? I couldn't really see, but... Maybe there was some events that might give us something. Ready. Duke. Oh. Oh, we gained more. Damn. Is that a Thunder Warrior Legions? Ready for duty. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, take Ra here, and all this stuff here. No, not all that stuff. Just one of this here, and I think these guys as well need to go here. Yep. Alright. The first unification. The golden bells ring throughout the mountains, echoing in a chorus of... Chorus? Chorus of glory. The Himalayan are now under my dominion. Now and forevermore. As I look south, beyond the slopes of the great mountain's peak, I think of what shall come next. This is but the first step towards the rebuilding of mankind, and there are many battles to come, but now I am ready. Uh, now we core everything. Right, good. You're running out of manpower. <laughs> Fast. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, the Mortal Empire. What the hell is the Mortal Empire? Oh, over there. <coughs> Looks like they're dead. Damn. Okay, they all got that stuff, maybe. Okay, you got your own focus tree, I suppose. City of Babylonia. Damn, that's vast. Yeah, pause a second. The first unification. It is done. In less than a year, I've united the, the desperate wilds of the Himalayan. Himalays Himalayas. From the tech Garrick Mountains to the fringes of Sag. My dominion is absolute. The ancient peoples that have lived here for generations kneel to me, hailing me as their overlord. My rule shall be one of healing and reconstruction, for I shall make these lands thrive again as they once did. Though some still resist, the people's love for me drown out those who would refuse my new order. And all across the lands I hear the chants of my thousands name, thousand names. The Lord of Lightning, the Dragon, the Eagle, the Master. The Master of the Lines, Savior, Master, Leader, Father. I've been known to by many names in my millennia of existence, though most are forgotten to me. But if I am to be the leader of man, I should not be known by so many aliases. Malkador understands this, and has come forth to me to propose a final title, one that shall be known to all on Terra and beyond. When I set forth from these secluded mountains and into the blasted wasteland that were once my home, I will make these barbarians know who I am. When they speak of my name, the weak and com contemptible shall flee and cover, cower, denying my name. The brave will stand and fight, challenging my, my name. And the wise will lay, lay down their arms and submit, for they know, will know my name is true. I am the emperor of mankind, and my age has just begun. Onwards. The master of the lines. Yes. Ooh, nice. A new picture. 
Seize guns. No. Dig up steel. Uh, hmm. Wait a second with that. Maybe. The War Council. The first campaign. Hmm. Do I get... Does this expand or something? Oh. This, like, it's only India as far as I can tell. Maybe it does expand. The first campaign. The board is set. The Himalayas... The Himalayas <laughs> are under my dominion. And now I shall march forth into the rest of Terra. To the south lies the land of Ind, dominated by petty kingdoms and lords. That shall be my Imperium's first foray into this broken world. Unification wars have begun, and all of Terra will kneel. Gain war support. Joink. Uh, oh, right. Political advisor. Malachor the Sigli Light. Oh, damn. Sigli Light. Uh, yeah. Let's take him. Kahamana. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. So these are rather f okay. This is forty-two days. Other ones were like uh, f thirty-two. The Emperor's protection. Oh, great, great factions. I don't have a faction though. Division defense. <laughs> All right. So far as I can tell, I'm not gaining any stuff here. So we might as well just take one of them. I think I'll take. Mobile, we want to be fast. Uh, yeah, more, yeah, maybe superior firepower. Yeah, superior, superior, blah, superior firepower. Uh, auto cannon, platform, sure. Ooh, right, I was building stuff. Uh, <laughs> Ten. Yeah, build two, I guess. Another political advisor. Civilian Hakano Liper. Yep. Closed economy. Hmm. Okay, the War Council. The four watched the hollow capture, displaying a map. My phone is beeping. Uh, displaying a map of the southern lands uh, through an electric hue which hummed through the occasional flicker. The two generals stood over the capture, studying its details. But they watched from behind in silence. In Valdor spoke, a proud land and one unlikely to submit easily. I have walked through their realms before and have come to know some of them. They despise outsiders, and for a good reason. Eric Taranis nodded in agreement. I. These kingdoms haven't s seen proper order over the lands in centuries. Words won't cow them. I say we strike now, and, and hard. We'll give no quarter end to any of them. They will submit to our rule, or they will die, Valdor frowned. We're not here to slaughter these people, Taranis. Such a, such a destructive tactic would only be more of the same for them. We are here to rebuild this world, not tear it down. The thunder warrior barked a laugh. You've gotten strangely soft, Valdor. When I was a boy, my clan cast me into, out into the valleys, and I had to fend for myself for a full year with no food, no water, no skills. You were raised in high status, all guild, gilded and pompous, without a drop of brawn. This isn't that kind world, Valdor. Maybe you should figure that out before you start lecturing me on. He rose a hand. He sharply tingling, a sharp tingling feeling coursed through the bodies of all those present, and a sudden presence of authority had made itself known. The two generals bowed their heads as silence filled the room. From the Emperor's shadow, Malkador stepped forward. You forget your courtesies, Eric Taranis. Do not be so rash in your judgment, my friend. Taranis bowed his head once more. I apologize, I apologize Lord Malkador. I forget myself. Malkador nodded. To the topic at hand, then. Our campaign through Ind will begin, of course. With the northernmost kingdoms, perhaps we should discuss them individually. Oh. Palace is here, this seems rather big. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> the holocap just zoomed into a particular region of the map. Uh, the Kingdom Palace lies directly south of our Imperium, said Malkador. In the many ways in many ways some would consider it to be the Indic Kingdom, for it was this land that was the birthplace of the new Indic civilizations after the end of the Golden Ages. They hold their ancient heritage and traditions close to heart more than any other kingdom in Ind. The hollow capture zoomed out, zoomed further in onto major hive cities. 
uh, its spire bending the mostly second dimensional map outwards into a triangular shape. Hive Ganjar, uh, Valdor said quietly. A city of ivory lords and palaces cleaner than its con contemporaries at the very least, indeed, Malkador murmured. Although proud and stubborn, the ivory king of Palace is known to be more receptive to outsiders than most among its peers. Thus, diplomacy may be a viable option. Okay. Yeah. I guess that was that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Into Palace. The kingdom of Palace lies directly to the south of the Himalayans. An old realm with an older heritage. It is here that my Imperium shall first look towards its in its quest for unity. A mission to Ganja. Eh? I don't see any Ganja. Kujara? Hmm. My Emperor Malakador. Malkador said with respect as he bowed. He nodded. Rise, and the old lord seemingly struggled back to his feet. I apologize, my emperor. My youth has long left me, and my legs have grown weak. I fear I'm not as nimble as I once was. The emperor could only shake his head. I see you practice your facade even amongst my presence. Your legs are as weak as your mind, Malkador. Malkador smiled. Facade, I assure you, my weaknesses are no ruse. The emperor smirked. Very well. Why have you summoned me, my emperor? For a mission, the emperor produced a hollow device, pressing a button, a hollow map of palace, emanated from the from the device, enlightening the chamber in a bluish hue. I am sending you to the city of Ganja to meet with the Ivory King. Malkador bowed his head. As you command, my Emperor, and what should my purpose be in this meeting? To announce our hostilities, to negotiate a peaceful unification. They were... Uh, the more friendly to outsiders, at least that was the text said. To negotiate a peaceful unification, I have spoken to the Ivory King in secret many years before I came to this land as an outsider, yet that status did not alter his perception of me. He is, as you said during the council, receptive to new ideas and ways beyond his own customs, though his own court has grown suspicious of him. He stands by his open mind. You will travel to the city of Ganja with my message of unity and to offer him and his kingdom a place in my imperium. Malkador bowed to his lord. I, as you will, my, my emperor, I hope that the king will see reason. With that, Melkador rose and left the chamber. The board is set. The pieces are moving. Brrr, ding ding. No? Okay. Oh, this happened immediately. Oh, we can do more at the time? Let, let's do that one first. <laughs> oh, you can also do this over here. I see. So it was only one of the other up here. We do all of this stuff. Alright, that makes sense. Someone is using fireworks. Rebuild old infrastructure. For a future wars to be successful whatsoever, we must rebuild the one strong foundations in these mountains. Yes. Meeting with the Ivory King. Hive Ganja was, a s was small for a hive, yet still a sprawling city. The streets were packed in by thousands of people going about their lives. The markets were louder and sa saturated with the scents of modified spices, herbs, and other goods grown in underground greenhouses. Overseen by the produce casts case casts. To the untrained and unfamiliar, navigating such a maze would be nearly impossible, but Malkador understood the geography of these places well. The districts near the Palace of Tusks were far cleaner and suited the cast masters that lived there well. Malkador f wound his way further through the streets until he came to the outer defensive of the palace. He presented the message to the guards, who promptly escorted him inside. My illustrious king, the herald said, allow me to present Master Malkador, ambassador of the Himalayan Emperor. Malkador did his courtesies, bowing to the king, yet he feigned fr uh, frailty. The ivory king, of course, sat on a grand throne of elephant elephantine tusks bound together by bronze, ancient prizes of a long dead species. The king whispered silently to one of his, his advisers, but Malkador could still perceive the threats to his life. Rise, Master Malkador. I heard of your emperor's great conquest of the mountains, and I must say I am impressed. It must take a powerful man to bring valley savages and dragon lords and such under one banner. His full title, however, is rather bold. What do you think? Malkador nodded. Indeed, my lord, but my emperor's ambitions are not limited to the Himalayans. You see, the raptor imperials will one day be seen in every corner of Terra. The Ivory King's half-hearted, sardonic smile faded. Why have you come, Malkador of the Himalayas? Malkador stepped forward, his elderly gait replaced with a bold stride. Unification, the king 
raise the brow unification of what? Of this world? Our world. Join our Imperium and you will be part of the greatest moment of our species history. The king chuckled. And why, might I ask, would I do that? Your realm will be protected to bring order to this broken earth. Hmm, did they say in the text that uh, they were wary of outsiders because uh, they like order? I think this is the correct one. I'm not sure if it's like a do or <laughs> like it, the other one will bring war, but we'll do this. And just for the uh, safety to go here. <laughs> oh, mm, maybe. Unification. The, to bring order to this broken earth, you would uh, do well to remember the legacy our forebears left many thousands of years ago, my king. This was once a green and fertile world, full of life and color. Our terror was the beating heart of the galaxy at one time. The Emperor will see that time reborn, and he asks you to join him in this quest. The Kingdom of Palace will be known to all as amongst the first who have seen the truth. The Ivory King's face showed no signs of either approval or disapproval, remaining silent but intent. And what would my own place be in this empire of yours, might I ask? You would retain your titles and positions so long as you remain loyal and just to the Emperor and his law. Be fair to your subjects and allies, and you will rise high in the Emperor's favor. The king was silent for a moment, pondering Malkador's word. Wait outside, Master Malkador. I must speak with my council on this matter. Malkador nodded respectfully and left the king's presence. And now we wait. 2.1 What a fool. After a time, the king's herald came forward to Malkador. The herald bowed, and Malkador did so in turn. The king had come to a verdict. Follow me. Entering the throne room once more, Malkador sensed many eyes upon him. Approaching the base of the Ivory King's throne, Malkador bowed once more. After a long moment, the king commanded him, Rise, Malkador. Did... Rise. Malkador did, did as asked. What is your decision, then? The Ivory King was silent for a moment, and then shook his head. I refuse. My kingdom will not bow to you so-called Imperium, Elysian. The realm of Palace is and shall forever be an independent kingdom, free from the tyranny of outsider, outside influence. Malkador stood in silence, perhaps deep in thought. Then he nodded very well, King. Let it be blood. Fool. You utter fool. I will send my thunder warriors against you. Mark my words. I have no <laughs> manpower though. This will be interesting. I do have my thunder warriors, so maybe everything will be grand. Yeah. Hive cities. Oh. Let's see how fast I move. I lose my tr my population here. Max speed. You foolish ivory king. You could have been the first. Of many, but you chose blood. <laughs> they are falling be before my wrath, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Come on, get through the mountains. Okay, Corman's Warband. Uh, subdue Techno through Diplomacy for the mission. Uh, unify with Peles. Unify with Peles. As the final scraps have come to clear, now begins the bureaucratic process of unifying the Palatian lands with ours. The process will be lengthy and Relatively costly, but the fruits of our labor will give us full control over the region, as well as their undying loyalty to the Imperial Truth. <coughs> okay. I thought I need to... okay. Hmm. Ooh, tanks. We are in 91 now, that's 92. Okay. 91. Hmm. Get that. Get this. <coughs> Excuse me. You fool overtook. Why did you deny us our right? Goodbye, immortal empire. Damn, that's a big empire. A Kaminid empire. Okay. Yeah, let's wait for that a moment. 
Integrated Mountains Railroad. Now that we have a stable foundation, we can continue our expansion, be expansion, be integrated in the railroads with the new infrastructure. Yes. We have really good infrastructure in these mountains. Why are you not bringing more troops now? Oh, supplies. Mm. Weapons ready. Weapons ready. One should think that uh, there will be supplies down here, but I guess not. Yeah, go! Or not. Uh, alright, alright, uh, over here, resources, mm, that's still okay, tanks, that's 88, oh, well, uh, let's get the STC tank, cause why the hell not? Come on, my thunder warriors, you can do it! And Legio, Legio Custodis as well. Is supplies really that bad down here? Oh, that's infrastructure. I thought that was supplies. Uh, oh, up here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I see. Okay. Mm. Construction? Sure. Going there, go on here. Can you go here? Got these guys off, perhaps? Yoink! Hey. Sweet, and... Wait, what? No, no, just go there, I guess. <laughs> mm. Let's get this refinery thing. Alright. Um, maybe get regional command. Regional. Ri regimental command. The levying of forces has gone well, and even now our administrators are well with pay <coughs> excuse me, paperwork. However, the ad hoc irregular nature of these forces has proven problematic in regards to communication and grand strategy. As such, we are standardizing the command at the regimental level to ensure interoperability inter when they must work together in the field and prevent any more incidents, like what occurred during the confusion during the siege of Ortomala. Uh, all right. <coughs> Get it done. Yes, thick corruption. Uh, I don't know. How many have died? 2k. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, these uh, Thunder Warriors and Legio Custodes, they are insane. Which I guess is accurate, law wise. Firepower. Delay, sure. And another advisor. War industrialist. Ahmad Satari, sure. Oh, damn. Okay, that's better. Okay. Go, go, go. Go. It's not done, my brothers. Mm. 
Sweet. Solar Auxiliary Dino Soldiers. The Dino 5... Oh, excuse me. The Dino 5 too silly at my Emperor. The sweltered, the swelt woman whispered, dropping to her knees before the hundreds of adjacent tanks. Each tank filled with murky blue fluid and held a creature, human, male, the Emperor noticed. Though many were little more than clumps of cells and lacked discerning characteristics, the sparks of life and the weak connections to the Imperium whispered threats of their futures. Arise, Primo Uxo Said, the Emperor commanded in a hushed whisper that pounded into her mind like an alarm klaxon. You have done well, child. The withered old woman next to the Emperor spoke, resting a gnarled hand, aged with spots on her arm. I see the something oval harvesting data we provided had the desired effect, pausing to place his free hand over seed banks covering by the dancing white fog due to the air recyclers, he continued. Strong gene lines you have selected. These words will serve well. Through your daughters that we must discuss further. Yes. Here, up here, up here. Boop, 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 boop. I just need this hive city. Duke. Let's go. Stupid Ivory King. Take all states. Yoink. Sweet. But, uh. Okay, it is cord as well. Nice. Any resources? Uh, hardly. Some. Anyways, we need to cut, so yeah. Thank you much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And I hope I see you next time. And a very big special thanks to my two channel members, David Wilson and Knoebel. Thanks for supporting, guys. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.